that's it started or the ignition switched on it's a this vehicle's a hybrid it's a mercedes-benz c-class 2.1 c300 cdi blue tech sport 7g tronic plus <laughs> bit of a mouthful there um just turn it off again because it tells you on the the dash there it's done 52,070 miles um one owner from new it's finished in white with uh light silver grey leather the fuel economy is pretty incredible really uh, urban 70.6 extra urban 80.7 and combined is 76.4 a 0 to 60 time of 6.7 seconds which is pretty fast uh, top speed of 148 miles an hour uh, out of a 201 brake horsepower engine now it's a diesel engine and it has an electric motor as well that adds an extra 27 brake horsepower um, and it's it's quite phenomenal really because the the engine that it uses it, the hybrid system gives it an extra 50 miles per gallon as, as opposed to what you get out of just a c250 so it's really good zero road tax as well it's mot till the 29th of the 4th 2009 um i'll just take you riding it it's <laughs> I'm not 100% familiar with this car and I've never used a Mercedes-Benz hybrid before. Now just driving down here, I wish I'd have, I wish I'd have driven it for a, a few days so I could get used to it and then I'd be able to explain better or put it into words better. But there was a few things I, I noticed. Um, it, I'll, I'll try and explain as we, we go along. I've used hybrid cars before and electric cars and you usually notice quite a lot of braking from the electric motors as you, you when the motor's kind of driven backwards it acts as a generator and, and puts a charge back into the battery. So normally your car slows down like, like now I, I can feel it um, a, kind of a bit of braking assistance just get on the road but when you're on the motorway it has this um, facility I suppose of cruising and being helped along by the motor and you take your foot off the accelerator and you would expect to start slowing down but you don't you it's almost like it's cruise control and um, it's the electric motor working. Apparently the, the motor is between the uh, the gearbox and, and, and the drive and uh, it can uncouple the diesel engine and just work off the motor. It's been ticking over for a while while I photographed it so the, the battery power is down. Um, you've got agility settings and you have a little switch here. So we'll click that and you've got an individual sport plus sport comfort and eco so uh, we'll go into eco so we're in eco there eco comfort eco and we're it's just lunchtime again and uh, I'll be stuck in all the traffic that's giving you your fuel economy. Energy flow, that's the one I wanted. That's just showing you what's happening, what it's using, where the power's going. And also on the dash here, sorry, rev counter on the right, speedo on the left, your information panel in the center, assistance graphics. That's probably the thing that tells you you're too tired, I would think. Yeah, I don't want that.
trip counter it's showing the energy flow there as well we're up to 88 percent automatic gearbox the selector is on your right here and uh, if you've watched any of my other Mercedes videos you know I'm especially when it's raining I always uh, knock it into neutral thinking I'm using the wiper we should be all right today there's uh, it's a blue sky wipers on the left hand side of the indicator stalk at the end and uh, paddle shifts here multifunction steering wheel let me just say just show you multifunction power folding door mirrors uh, a, a lot of the hybrids the battery takes up some of your luggage space this seems to be quite um, it just seems like a normal Mercedes C-Class estate it's a nice flat loading bay at the back plenty of room the rear seats fold down and um, split 60-40 there so nice and comfortable We've got what uh, I'm assuming this is Artico leather. Air conditioning, it's also heated seats, three position heated seats here. But, um, with the electric assistance it gives you the all the performance of a, a bigger engine and uh, the economy of a smaller one so it's best of both worlds really nice and smooth to drive it has electric operation of the seat that's up and down and the reclining function but backwards and forwards you have to pull a little catch just to take you up the motorway and try and show you the sailing uh, mode I think you have to be in uh, top gear and then when you let your foot off the accelerator it, it just seems like it, it's freewheeling, but it's actually getting power. The front central armrest here, been really well finished off. There's, uh, I think there's two USB sockets and chargers in there. And some load space. Oops, I thought it was getting warm, I've got a heated seat on. And a CD radio. So, Navi, radio, media, telephone. And then you've got this kind of trackpad here that you can move about, or the selector. I think the trackpad idea was made for somewhere where the roads are a heck of a lot smoother than they are in the UK. Because as, you, as you're trying to track something and you hit a bump, you, your finger's going all over the place. This could be awkward. Thanks for pulling out, mate. Couldn't understand why you didn't. Okay, we'll just give it some gas here. Get into top in seventh there. And I've taken my foot off the accelerator and it's at 1500 revs. And we're just we're just carrying on. It's, it's now dropped a little bit because no doubt the electric power. Yeah, the electric power's gone to eighty percent now. But it, it's it's quite it's quite a strange feeling when you take your foot off the accelerator as you're approaching traffic. You you kind of you you know how far your car's going to just pull up with wind resistance. And with that, with that sailing 
it um, it adds a, f a few yards on, so you, you just have to be uh, on your guard and put your foot on the brake. Actually, I never got to 70 miles an hour. and get to 70 up here it's only a short stretch so might be a bit difficult getting to top so seventh no I'm not gonna do it it's too dangerous I'll be, uh, I'll be using this car over the weekend, so if I uh, find out how to use it better, I might just uh, make a, an add-on video. Let's just try it in sport, see what happens in sport. There we go, sport, yeah. It's, changed down already so uh, the throttle response is, is more sensitive we've got uh, front and rear park assist there's a display in the roof for the for the back and we've also got uh, a reversing camera which I should have probably shown you before I won't uh, Put it in reverse here. certainly got a turn of speed but um, as usual no doubt this person in front is going to turn right in about 10 miles so let's uh, pulled out into the outside lane Nice early lane adoption. Great automatic gearbox and you've got your paddle shift override here. And if I let uh, my foot off the accelerator, you'll see there that the power's been recuperated by the, the battery. It's uh, charging it again. Let's see if it uh, goes up on the dash there. It's at 81% at the moment. Um, if I put it in reverse here, 
there you go you've got the uh, like rugby goal post turn the steering wheel that shows you where you're going to go that's it I'll finish the test drive here um, if you're watching this video on YouTube if you look up in my left or your right there's a little eye and there'll be um, a 360 interior scan of this vehicle there'll be a website trailer a full video and this road test review um, if it's been of any benefit to you then please uh, click the like and subscribe buttons thank you